Have you ever wondered how to make good tzatziki? Well, it's not that hard and it's so good. I mean, you can use it to dip pretty much anything into it, but it's also a really good topper. Burgers are great with tzatziki. My favorite thing is to eat it with my tuna salad. So let's make tzatziki together. Here in a bowl, I have some regular yogurt. I'm taking one garlic clove and I'm using a microplane to just, I guess you could say kind of mince it, grate it really fine. Then I wanna add the cucumber. So the cucumber, which I guess is the most important part of good tzatziki, we grated it on a box grater, seasoned it with some salt and let it just kind of strain. And I'll put that right into the yogurt, a little bit of lemon, and finally herbs. So I, love dill, so I know it's very traditional to use mint, but I love them both. And to me, I don't know, cucumber and dill always go hand in hand. So let's just kind of bring it all together and chop it all up. You want a really sharp knife whenever you're cutting herbs, because the last thing you want are the herbs to get all bruised up and wet with a knife that doesn't really have a good blade. The fresh mint and dill goes right in and mix all this deliciousness together. Give it a little taste to make sure. Mmm, see? To me it needs a little more salt. Just a little bit more salt to that. Delicious. All right, so we have a couple of ways to eat tzatziki today. I'm gonna put it right in the center of this gorgeous vegetable platter, right like that. So we can dip into that. And then of course, we have some warm pita bread right here that we've dusted with some of our favorite spice called za'atar. And that can go right here. And of course, you have to leave a little bit of room for dipping into your tzatziki. Got to try tzatziki at home. It goes great with everything. See you soon. Learn how to make Mediterranean tzatziki at home with my recipe at checkpleasefl.com.